Hey, it's Thursday morning. I'm just walking around the shop. Hope everybody's doing great. I just came across something that's it's kind of fun to look at. I did a book a couple of years ago for Cartep, Cartech Publishing called uh, How to Protect and Preserve Patina. Fotina, fake patina. Um, and it's interesting. I walked past this door, which was one of the projects on one of the chapters. And uh, um, it's. I'm just going to let you look at it. All right, so here's the door. It's from my 71C10. And it's totally fake patina. I use stencils. I'm not a pinstriper. I'm not a letter guy. But it gave me the chance to create an aged effect on on a vintage door. I think it gets better with age, which is interesting because patina gets better with age, as this says too. Interesting. I don't know. It's kind of fun. See the fading of the letters, the drop shadows, three or four different layers of the, the those are Kafka three layer stencils and just aging techniques. So it's a fun book. It was a cool book to, and an interesting project to, to write. Um, we're doing another one right now on truck bed floors, but the hood behind it is from my Harley truck, my 2000 Harley truck. That's the original hood from Zed Sled. That's the grill from Cetane. That's the fuel tank from Cetane. So anyway, it's an interesting way to look at paint projects. Not everything has to have a $50,000 paint job on it. Um, not everything deserves that, but it's nice to know that we can do that when we have the resource, as in the time, or the financial resource to pay somebody to do it, or to do it ourselves. I want you to do it yourself. I want to teach you how to do it yourself. But um, it's kind of fun to, to come across projects like that, because that door took me two or three hours on a, a uh, already faded out patina paint job so anyway it just crossed my mind to just uh, make a little video of it and um, and and just sort of pontificate if you will share my thoughts on patina and all that kind of stuff anyway I hope you guys are doing great um, happy Thursday <laughs> I'm still coming down off the cardio this morning anyway so have a beautiful day